Hello everyone, Wangel here, and welcome back to the Grudgebringers campaign for Mortal Empires. So last episode, we defeated the Dread King in battle and his entire army, leaving now just the rest of the faction for us to deal with. Now of course, there's every chance that he may recuperate from his injuries and come back to face us, but for now, we're just going to focus on destroying his faction, since that's the only way we can honestly say another Dread King has been eliminated. Now, thanks to a little bit of luck, it was completely planned, nothing completely random, but we were able to draw away the two armies here from the Black Pyramid after laying siege to Kenry. So we're in a position now with them in forced march stance to actually go after them, use lightning strikes so we can take them on one by one, and then eliminate quite a substantial part of the Dread King's power before we start deciding on going after the settlements here. So which army do we want to go after, first of all? Don't say that. It's not encouraging. But this one has got three units of Yushapti, especially one with Great Bows, Karen. Right, or oh, this one. Okay, the this one's tougher, which means this is the one we're going to have to go after. Just because if we any casualties we take from this fight, we'll still be okay then to fight this battle. Whereas if it's the other way around, then we have a chance of potentially losing this one. So yeah, let's go ahead, start the fight against Hierophant Esphere, and see how we do. Now I suppose we could actually fight the battle against both factions, I mean both armies at the same time. But why do that? Let's just do that, and then we'll go after the weaker one afterwards. So... Let's head down to the battlefield. Okay then guys, here we are. Now to be honest, I'm not sure if this is going to be good for me or bad for me. Because as you can see, they've given the AI the defensive map where we can only attack them over these two choke points. It's going to make things tough if they decide to stay there. But... Given the amount of ranged sort of area of effect abilities we have, with everything from Luther Flame Strike and his spells to the Grudgebringer Sword and that, it might not actually be too bad if they decide to stay clumped together like this. But it depends what they're going to do. They may just come at me because we do have artillery, and the AI is set really to go after uh, someone with artillery if they don't have one themselves, even if they are the defending army. So. Let's set up accordingly and see what we do. So, assuming they're going to be coming this way, let's put the cannon right here. Because that way then we can even just move down then and towards them if we need to. Yeah, that will actually work out quite nicely. We'll get you guys to come here. Basically, I'm just going to use the same formation that's worked for us so far up to this point. So we do something like that. Then let's grab... You and stick you here. Let's get you here, you here. You can go on the end, you can come over here. You can come here, and you can come here. Yeah, that should work. Right. Let's we'll just make sure they're staying roughly here, because I'm going to move them down in front of the line rather than keep them as they come in here. In fact, we might as well just put them straight like this, shouldn't we? Let's get you guys to come here and then... F Bernhard can go there. Vison is outlaws. We can stick you down here to start shooting at those direwolves. Hopefully we can draw them away from our line. Let's get you over here and then... And Keradan can come down here too. There we go. Perfect. Pause it just right now so we can get our troops into formation. So something like that. Should work out quite nicely. You guys go into skirmish mode and go and kill me some die wolves. Ragnar's wolves and you guys. Let's get you actually over to this flank. And then you can head down here ready to cast some spells. You can head down here as well. Just because hopefully we can put get you within range of the burning head. Right where they're clumped up right here. And then you should be a... Remind me at the end of this battle if he levels up to give him a horse. Because at this moment, it's just been a bit of an irritation to deal with when you consider that we have to constantly... Oh, hang on. Oh, the carrion may actually be a bit faster than me. Crap. It's okay, we'll keep you guys here. You... Oh, 
I forgot, you've got like 40 seconds. Okay, well, I'll let the cannon just do some damage over here. If we can actually aim for that, you know, if you shapti there, that would be quite handy. Oh, wow, you actually did some damage there. Okay. Alright, let's get you in a nice position to do this. And then you can start heading back down again. Alright. Should still be out of range. That's good. Okay, six seconds. Three, two, okay, we may have to get you quite close. There we go, once burning his head. Let's get you back here then. Excuse me. Right, let's get you to do right down this clump here. That should be perfect now to get all of these guys in one it's fell swoop. Alright, we'll get you to spin around now just in case. And look at that. I mean, how many people we've killed so far? We've killed nearly 500 of them, and we've barely even moved from our position. That's extremely good going. Okay, Vice's Outlaws, I'm going to actually try and pull you guys around what we got carrying. Alright, let's get you guys to spin around this way. That way then we can use people like my free company militia here, just to try and help out by shooting them. And then you guys can make your way back over here. Depending on how quickly they get into position, they might even start firing. Oh, in fact, let's get you start firing at the you Shabdi there. Okay, let's get you back here. Yusubio. Might actually get Yusubio over here to deal with the hex waves again. It's going to take a little while for him to get down there, though, isn't it? Okay. Ogres, charge in. Gnarl fist, charge in. Should be a pretty easy fight for him. Right. Let's get you guys out of here. Right. Militia, I want you to shoot the carrion. Oh wow, my outlaws have really taken a pound of that. Okay, let's get you guys out of there. Right, let's let them get a bit closer, use it. Okay, you guys should be okay over here quite easily. Let's get you guys and then to intercept here, you guys, excuse me guys, charge in here. You come and attack these. They have done a really weird formation when you think about it. That they've so far decided to just come down like a column. And I'm not going to complain because that means another spear in a skull. Perfect. Alright, let's get you guys then to come in here. Oh, that is lucky. Look at that. It went right through the gap between my men. Okay, let's get Ragnar's Wolves out of there just in case. Okay, let's get Caradon over here to kill these. Alright. Grudgebringer Infantry, let's get you to kill off the last of the Hex Waves. Vices Outlaws, let's get you around here. Okay, Wagner's Wolves, you can charge down here. Then let's get you to use your uh, sword here. Because that should get this nice clump of enemies here too. Perfect. Alright, who are you actually fighting right now? Oh, you Shabti, that's all? Okay. Alright, that's the Hex Waves killed off. Let's, get the, let's go after these now. Okay, free company militia. We're going to get you guys to come down here. Alright, you can come down here and provide support. Okay, cannons. Okay, that's not ideal. Let's get you guys to come down here and get one of these instead. In fact, all my ranged units can do that. And that's much better. Okay. Your Shafti now should be finished off quite easily at this point. Come on, last couple left. Let's get you guys to charge down here then. Alright, you guys can come and attack these. In fact, you change your targets, come over here and attack these. 
Archer's now starting to deal with those. Nullfist, come over there and deal with these. Okay, you guys should be able to finish those off easily. Alright, let's get you guys to come down here. You finish off these. Dwarf Warriors, come and attack these. Free Company Militia, you can just keep doing what you're doing. Or even better, go after and kill his. You kill him. You go and kill these. There we go. This turned out to be a much easier fight than I anticipated, with the exception of my outlaws. But, yeah, they're all just starting to disintegrate at this point. Enemy air leader has been wounded. Just hunting down the last of their units now. Some of them are going to be a little bit slower than others. Let's get you to come down here and attack these. And let's get you to come and help out against those. Okay, that's about to get killed off. Excellent. Yes, there we go, just need to wait on the last couple of uh, statues. Oh, and the archers, of course. Okay, that shouldn't take too long. Okay. Well done, Alphys. She chased them away. Let's finish off the last unit, speed it up. And before you know it, a close victory. Really, game? Okay, let's go back to the campaign map and find out why it was apparently a close victory. So, apparently a close victory, even though looking at the numbers, I have to disagree. Admittedly, my outlaws did take a few casualties and that's down to me, serves me right for taking them off skirmish. But still, we did quite a lot of damage to the enemy and took very few casualties in return. So, can't say I'm too happy about that. Let's kill the captives, and let's go after now the next army. Are they still within... Oh no, it doesn't matter, does it? What am I talking about? Alright, skip through that. Let's go and attack Hierophant to a Hobie now. Really? Now, the, if I'm looking at this fight, the balance bar is put it at a similar chance to when I fought that much larger army just now who had better units than these guys. And yeah, they're giving me the same chance according to the balance bar. That's appalling. That really is. But I'm going to fight it again, just because I don't want to take as many casualties as if I feel I would have to do if I ought to resolve it. So yeah, let's fight it again, get over and done with, and then we can see about laying siege to Kenwi or something like that instead. Well, this fight should be a pretty easy affair, but we'll set up accordingly just in case. And for those of you watching, I actually got a question to ask you guys. Now, I know according to the mod, I'm supposed to be able to recruit certain units from the other Dark Omen and Shadow of the Horned Rats, like the Helm Guards Lombos, the Black Avengers and things like that. But I have no idea how I'm actually supposed to recruit them. Because they haven't popped up like, say, Ublab Watgut as an unlockable regiment of renown. So, I would love to know how to actually unlock them if you've had experience with playing with these guys yourself. Because it would be so cool to be able to actually just have and see more units, which I can't seem to unlock at the moment. And they are in the game, I've seen, there was an excellent video I came across. I'll see about linking it down in the comment section or as a card on the video itself. Which uh, goes for all the different units, so I know they're actually in the, the faction, I just don't know how to get them. But if anyone happens to know, then please feel free to let me know in the comments, it'll be greatly appreciated. Alright, have I missed out anybody? Yes, you. Okay. And again, nice standard formation right across the centre here, should be... A Easy enough to take out our enemies. Alright, uh, cannon. I'm just going to stick you right next to our tree man. Keradin can form up over here. You can form up here as well. And for you, let's get you guys behind. In fact, let's modify this slightly. Let's get you and you over here. Ready to just shoot around the flank. Commander Bernhardt can come around there and already blast those. Ragnar's Wolves can help out too. That should be fine. 
you guys... To be honest, I'm actually going to get these guys to withdraw from the battlefield, because I don't want them to take any more casualties than they may do. So, better safe than sorry, I feel. Alright, you can fire your cannons away, good sir. Target well hits. See if you can take out some of the archer chariots for me, though. Just because they are a right pain to deal with, for the best of times. Alright, you've got 34 seconds. Let's see if we can get this time just right. For me to be able to get them going right across the uh, bow line. In fact, if we slant it slightly like this, this should get them as they're advancing too. So, any second now. Two. One. Oh, that actually worked out much better than I anticipated. Perfect. Okay. Next, Bernhardt. Let's kill me some ghouls. Two. One. Fire. Perfect, perfect. Right. Let's start dealing with these now. So we've got some direwolves coming in over here. Crossbows, if you can be so kind to kill these for me. You guys can come forward here. You guys charge into here. You guys come here. You go and defeat them. Quickly, ideally, because I didn't realise my cannon actually moved forward to attack the enemy. Silly sots. Uh, you guys come into here. You here. And you here. You here. And you here. Alright, and then you guys can come around the flank here then. Oops. Come over here. Alright. Go past the battle line if possible. Let's have you guys focus on shooting. In fact, all my ranged units. Focus on killing me these chariots. Alright, that should be a pretty straightforward fight then. Right, you guys make your way around the flanks like I've just asked you to do. Alright, let's activate your abilities. There we go, perfect, perfect. Right, Commander Bernhard, go and kill me a Lich Priest. You go and kill me another Lich Priest. Archers are all about to die, that's good news to see that. You can kill and kill them, you shoot this. Alright. Goodbye. Perfect. Let's get you guys now to come and charge into here. You guys make your way down here. Where have they spawned this? Oh, right next to some spearmen. And my Imperial foot. That's not going to work out too well for them, is it? Let's spin you guys around, actually. Alright, we just need you to finish off over here. You guys can start firing now. Okay, cannon, start firing as well. Yeah, last thing I want is for you to hurt my troops. Okay, let's get... Bit of extra damage going on around here. You should be able to finish these off. That should be finished off. Okay. Wood Elf Guard, uh, guard are taking a few more casualties. Let's get you guys down here. Alright. Enemy Lord has already been wounded. Alright. Let's activate that. Kill off their last character. Come on, guys, you can do this. Yeah, you might have given yourself some physical protection, but there still wasn't enough. And he's up! Excellent! <laughs> okay, who's left? Oh, just you. Okay. I'd say this is kind of an unusual sight seeing Wood Elves fighting Yushapti. There we go. Decisive victory. Now what I'm quite surprised about is that Lufa didn't actually kill anyone despite sending that burning head across their bow line. Must have done a lot of damage to their health but not to the actual ca you know, you infantry inf units, models, oh Christ, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we won the fight. Let's execute the captors again. 
Now, I would ideally like to try and go up against Kenry, but I would like to try and take the chance to replenish a little bit first. Oh, bugger. I keep forgetting that in Grimhammer or Steel Faith, you need to have that 25% movement range first before you can get the march. Right. Well, to be honest, our infantry itself haven't taken that many casualties. So, why don't we just lay siege straight away? Ugh, that garrison ain't gonna be happy. You know. I'll tell you what, we'll go. Let's get that and that. We'll get them queuing up, and I'll skip forward a few turns now, just so we can make sure to get it all done. What? You guys are actually replenishing? How? I'm not. I'm not gonna question it. How are you guys replenishing while laying siege? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's just level up our characters. So, can't pick up Dark Omen yet, according to my own rule. Let's continue giving... Facts. Miscast chance to enemies within range. Let's go for the Banner of Defiance. As you can see, the powerful banner here infuses the bearer's regiment with extra courage, making them braver and more determined. The regiment bearing this banner will never break from hand-to-hand -hand combat and is immune to fear. Sounds good to me. We'll give him that. Alright. Now, Yusabio, I was going to actually give you a war horse. But, given that we're just laying siege to a settlement right now, I'm deciding it'd be best if we hold off giving him a horse just yet. Just don't name him Daisy. Is that a reference to uh, Marcus Laidolf? I think it is. Anyway, let's give you extra replenishment. And now we can actually give you Shield of Faith as an aura area of effect ability. Lufa. Let's give you Earthen. Oof. Let's give you Piercing Bolts of Burning. No, hang on. Now let's give you that. And finish leveling up the Burning Head. I've been liking that spell so far, so I'm quite happy to keep it. Oh crap, that's something we could have done. Is it... Can, no, I can't do it now. Crap. We could have sent in Matthias here to actually do some damage to the walls beforehand. But... That's fine. That's fine. We'll keep, have him keep an eye out down here. And if this army tries to move out, we can try and block the army. So yeah, we'll use you to just keep an eye out down here for the moment. And then we can do a horde upgrade as well. Really? Oh yeah, here. Now I'm not gonna lie. I'm not... I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of this place. Because we really don't need it. It's not giving me any income because if I do that, we're actually losing the public order. Yeah, I think I'm just going to destroy it. We'll dismantle all the buildings and then I'll abandon the... the region then. And there we go. I'll skip forward a few turns now. So hopefully we'll be in a position to start the siege of Kenry. Well, next time you come in on the video. Christ, I'm really going to have to learn how to do these transitions a little better. What do you guys think, eh? <laughs> okay, so they're coming out to attack me and they have brought reinforcements in. Oh. I did not expect them to be bringing them in so quickly. And this is just the end turn phase I left you guys at. So I haven't even got a chance to build any siege equipment. But if they're coming to attack me, then they're coming to attack me. Now it's going to be a slight problem with their Screaming Skull catapults. But everything else we have defeated once before. So it should be pretty straightforward then. The only thing I have to check is see when we go and start the battle. Where their reinforcements coming in, but let's fight in and find out. Okay, then, guys, here we are, and you can see the reinforcements are going to be coming in right over here. So why not give them a warm welcome before we have to deal with the main army itself, eh? Now, 
they're going to be coming right in this section here, so we might as well just set up our main line here, and then we'll be able to spin around then. Maybe make sure we have like the artillery shooting down at the enemy if they're going to try and advance towards us. But let's try and wipe these guys out as quickly as we can. So again, basic formation that we've been I've been using non-stop recently because it works, which is why I want to keep it. So yeah, you guys can come here. You guys can come over to here. Nalfus can stay in the middle because he's quite tough there. Right. Hang on, why can't I not... Oh, apparently there's something that's impossible to rain it somewhere here. I have no idea. Maybe it's just because... Oh, maybe it's because it's too close to the deployment zone. Alright, let's get you guys then somewhere around here. Okay, cannon can come here as well. Artillery, let's get... Cavalry over the side. One in over the side. Vice and his men haven't even had a chance to replenish yet. Ugh, let's just keep you guys over here for now. Free company militia can stand here as well. And then I'll get all my characters over here as well. Oh, we can't get too close to this, that's why. Okay. Let's start doing this. Oh wow, and I got war wagons turned up as well. I love the fact they don't give me an opportunity to deploy them. They just end up spawning randomly somewhere on the battlefield. Right, let's get you guys coming over here. Alright, and hopefully we can just kill off as these as quickly as we can. Alright, you come over here, you come over here, you come over here. Let's get Ragnar's walls around the flank, ready to come in from this direction. Let's get you guys to come over this direction and attack them. Okay, war wagons, you might as well come up to here. And here comes the Screaming Skulls. Right. Let's get you firing on those catapults quickly. And just hope they don't do too much damage to my people. In fact, if we move you guys slightly forward, spread you out a little bit. Maybe this will make them a little bit more inviting because they're the closest target to the enemy. And then we'll have to wait. Oh, Christ, you guys have taken a pounding. Right. How many men are left? Six. Okay, let's just get you guys off the battlefield at this point. Because otherwise you're going to die. And I'd rather not lose a full unit. Oh, God's sake, men, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there before you lose any more men. Come on. Oh, right. Let's just get you, get you guys out of there. Get out of there. Oof. Okay, get out of the battlefield, guys. Okay. You guys come and target these. Right. How are we doing over here? Let's try and eliminate these guys quickly. Right. Magnus Wolves, finish off the last of these. Okay, Commander Bernhardt and the Grudgebringers, come and kill me some wolves. Okay, you guys kill off the Crypt Ghouls over here. Where is... Oh, you guys are apparently losing to Crypt Ghouls. Really? Okay. Let's get that blasting down right here. Uh, maybe it would have been better to go after that instead. Never mind. Okay, Grudge Bringer. Let's set that up something like this. And I should just about catch these guys and these guys as well. Okay, how are we doing over this way? Okay, you guys start firing on their position here. You guys fire on them. You guys and you guys. Okay, looks like my plan has actually worked. They are folk... Oh, no, okay, they haven't. My bad. Apparently I can't see directions. <laughs> okay, let's get... One burning skull heading straight down here. You guys get on and do some damage to them. Okay, grudge bring a crossbows. Oh, wow. Okay. This might not have gone according to plan. Not going to lie here. Right. Let's get you guys to use this on here. You guys, in fact, stay where you are. Start firing on the Tomb Guard coming up towards us. Okay, why 
Okay, you guys come back here. You guys... It doesn't help when you guys are regenerating, you know. Okay, let's... What? How... How did you guys... Uh, I'm not... I'm not gonna question. Why you guys managed to get cornered like that. I'm really not. Okay, let's get you guys over to here. Right. Now, first, I need you to come down here and provide support. Let's get you down here as well. Okay, Ragnar's Wolves. I'm actually going to get you guys to try and do a long flank. And go after the Screaming Skull Catapults. Because those are just doing a number on my troops right now. Right. Let's get you to blast this Tomb Garden in as well. And we must have killed enough of them now that they're actually bringing in Ushapti as well. Okay. Let's get... You guys need to kill off these. These should be finishing, although, come on. Where's Magnus Wolves? Right. Bypass these and go and kill me some of them. Alright, let's get you guys back here. You guys can get off the... Drop the cannon and get out of there. Alright, you guys get out of here quickly. Oh wow, these have taken a ton of casualties just now. Okay, enemy lords wounded. Okay, you guys finished up over here. You have. Right. Okay, Elwan, finish off these. You two, I did ask you to come down here originally. Can you now do that for me? Ideally before you take too many casualties as well. Okay, you guys need to make your way out of here. Let's get the Grudgebringer infantry to intercept the tomb guards. Okay, you guys and the pikemen can finish off the Ushapti. Let's get these ogres to come down and intercept these. Asgard's Bloodfist and your men, let's get you down here to attack these. You've now defeated the last of them, that's good news. Wow, Bernhardt has really taken a bit of a number to his health, hasn't he? I mean, they've got 42 men left, but they've got so little health left. Okay, let's get you guys out of the way here and here as well. Luckily, we've got enough men left out of these units. Maybe the exception of these guys. But may be able to keep them alive a little bit longer. Oh, wow. You guys have got caught up. Okay. Let's teach them what happens when you send a burning skull into their uh, nests. And let's boost up my entire bow line there. Okay, Commander Bernhardt, where are you guys? Let's pull you around here. Alright, troops are starting to rally now. That's good. War wagon. Sure, focus on them. And kite them away. How are you guys doing up here? Apparently, the Screaming Skull Catapult is winning decisively against... I'm not even going to question that again. Alright, Lufa, let's get you out of there now. Boost up my own troops a bit. Right, why have I got everybody bunched up around here? Don't do that. Come down here instead. Okay, Nalfist, you're going to be needed as well. Get your butt down here. Okay, you're actually doing okay here. Alright, Grudge Bringer Infantry, let's get you guys around to here. Uh, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? Okay, you guys, I'm just going to get you guys to leave. Right, I'd rather not lose their units. Right, likewise with you, let's get you off the battlefield. I'd rather do that than have them die. Okay, that might be one of the reasons why that's having an issue. Okay, let's get you guys to turn around now and go after those. Burn hearts and your men, let's get you around to here. In fact, let's have you smash into these. Right, let's wait that just as we're about to charge in. Just what I wanted to see, fantastic. Right, let's have a look over here now. Okay, Grudge Bringer Infantry, let's use that down on here. Just to finish those off. Okay, Nalfist, I want you to push through to here now. Because it looks like... If we're not careful, my characters may die here. I'd rather not have that happen. Ok, 
Okay, Luther, you've done extremely well, but I want you to get out of there for now. Nalfus can tag in instead. Okay. Cannon. No, let's not get you guys back there yet. You guys are still fighting those units over there, really? Okay, you continue killing the Crypt Ghouls. Uh, you guys need to get out of there. Oh god, no, oh god, oh god, oh god. Bernard's about to die. He's about to die. Oh crap. Oh crap, crap, crap. Oh crap. You, you're about to die. <laughs> oh dear god. What's going on here? Right, you guys, come down here and kill him. Right, why have I got... Oh yeah, these are my archers in there, right. Uh, you guys, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Now first, come and intercept these for me, please. Before Flamestrike dies. Oh wow, there's only two men left from the entire regiment. Oh my god, I can't believe they lost that much health so quickly. Okay, Imperial Foot, we need to get you guys down here. You've wiped out that unit. Okay, good. I could have swore there was another unit of Screaming Skulls around. It don't matter. We'll get you guys to come down here now. You guys make your way up to here. Right. Oh, you're up fleeing. Okay, don't die, Luther. Don't die, Luther. Okay, the Ogres are coming in for support. Come on. 28 health. 28 freaking health. <laughs> He's pulling it off. Oh, don't jinx it now, don't jinx it. Oh crap, oh crap, okay. You guys, stop standing around, come actually come in here and help. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's activate your abilities again. Alright, I'm being brave with him because I want to try and cast our uh, Grudge Bringer. Uh, blast right down the, uh, these guys here. In fact, aim a little bit more this way. That way now we can get more troops. Okay, you guys come and deal with those. Okay, let's get you guys out of there. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, flame strike. I'm actually going to ask you to leave. Yes, exactly. Leave. Quickly. Okay, qu Bernhardt's gonna have you actually pull back. Stay out of the fight for now. Okay, let's get you guys down here. We've got this in the bag now, but Jesus Christ. We took a lot more casualties in that fight than I was happy with. We nearly lost Luther as well. Right, we just need to finish off the last of these units. Go and kill these off. You guys come and kill these. Alright, and at this point I'm just gonna speed up time a bit. Right, let's get you guys up to here. A heroic victory. Oh, we came so close then. So close to losing some of our four units. Especially my uh, Lufa. 28 health, he survived that fight. And Bernhardt as well, don't forget. Two people left in his unit. Himself and his companion. Jesus. Whoa. That was a close fight. And more importantly, we didn't lose a single unit. It came extremely close, but we didn't lose any four units. That is fantastic. And given how much we were outnumbered as well in that fight, I was pretty chuffed by our men. The only problem I think was trying to go after this army separately. Because they're the undead, they take much longer to try and drive off compared to an, a flesh and blood army because you can just get them to retreat and then and go head off the map whereas with the undead you have to kill them all and then we had to then try and bring our troops over to fight these and as you can see we took quite a few losses i still can't believe lufa survived with 28 health that was crazy but let's click this and what we're going to do with kenry itself well, I'm actually quite happy to give it back to Kenry, since we are on good terms with Setra. So, what I'm going to do, though, is we're not going to give it back to him intact. We are going to loot and occupy it. We're occupying it so we can get the replenishment, and we're looting it so we can get the money.
But once we've got our replenishment up, I'm just going to transfer it back to Setra. And then we're going to focus then on going after the Black Pyramid. That is going to be a fight though for another episode. Because that's going to be a tough one. Okay then guys, back to me. So apparently now we picked up Confident Defender as well. So that's pretty good. Eventually we're going to be getting up there to Superior. But things are going quite well for the Grudgebringers at the moment. I do want to take a moment just to double check. Let's see, 25. Let's swap out the Peasant. Is that extra campaign movement? Take it. Valet will definitely keep. 25% there. Yeah, we'll keep the rest of them. Although, in fact... No, I'll swap you out for the Watchmen. I don't really care much for casualties captured post-battle. I never saw the point of that. But we'll keep everything else, and you can level up. Let's give you... Uh, let's have a look. Defense is still reasonably good. I kind of want to keep that. Let's give you... Focus on melee attack, maybe? No, let's focus on giving you a bit more combat ability with weapon strength. And a Dragon Bane. Okay. Tizer Bind. We could go after one of these, but we're nowhere near any of them. So, that's not going to happen. Alright, but while we're here, let's spend some of our cash to get a Quest Keeper Wagon. At least we'll be able to help a bit of our income. Can we itself? We're not going to keep. I'm just going to... Facts. Is it worth me trying to repair? No. We'll just demolish it all. <laughs> thing, and... Yeah, we'll just demolish that, get the money from the mine, and then we'll give it back to Kenry Nen. Over here, though, since we've now done all of this, we can now officially abandon the palace. Someone else can go and take it, as far as I'm concerned, but yes, we right. don't need it anymore. And then next turn... We'll be pretty much back up to full fighting strength, ready to go after the Black Pyramid again. Who's already starting to recruit the units. Okay, well, Matthias, let's get you leveling up by going after the walls. At the very least, it's going to give him some experience. And as we, more damage we do to the walls, the easier it's going to be for us to attack it later. So let's give you a point there. Okay, you Sabio... I suppose really we should just think, when do we get this? Two more levels, okay. Uh, benediction, extra leadership and that, sure. When do we get that? Four points. Okay, let's go... Let's go for another point in armor. Just make him a bit more protected. Flame strike. let's see, let's give you... To be honest, I'm pretty okay with that being as it is for now. Let's focus instead on giving you something that can do more damage still. Someone like the Piercing Bolts are burning, I'll be quite happy to keep. Then, Horde Buildings, I really don't care about. Damage Building. Okay. At this point though, we'll see if anything is going to happen. But, I think at this point actually, I'll bring in the episode to an end now. So what I'll do in between episodes is take the army and start getting it to lay siege to the Black Pyramid. If we need to attack any of the armies outside the settlement, then we'll do that. Or if it's even more worthwhile, although, to be honest, I think this is the army it looks like they've got. I think I would prefer to actually try and fight and take the walls, rather than trying to fight them out in the open. But we'll see what happens when we get down there. But oh, that's what I'll do in between episodes anyway. So for now, if I move away from that, because of the annoying noise. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed, and that you join me next time for some more Warhammer. But until then, everybody, take care, stay safe out there, and goodbye for now.